I'm Doug from the product team here at Sophos, and today we're going to be talking about managing multi-node Sophos firewall devices deployed in cloud platforms such as AWS and Azure from Sophos Central. Now, Sophos Central is a cloud-based unified console that acts as a single pane of glass for managing all your Sophos products, including Sophos firewall devices deployed in various cloud platforms. In particular, the grouping feature of Sophos firewall devices really helps our MSPs deploy and manage unified security policies across their customer bases. The onboarding process of new firewalls also becomes a lot easier since the security policies are inherited from the group automatically, with a minimum amount of intervention required from remote office IT administrators. Okay, a couple prerequisites before we get started. The customer needs to create an account on Sophos Central to manage all their Sophos firewall devices. And the Sophos firewall devices deployed in the cloud platform must be running version 18 or newer in order to use the firewall grouping feature from Sophos Central. So once your Sophos firewall is deployed and has internet connectivity, log in to the web console by entering your admin credentials. Then you're gonna to navigate to protect central synchronization and click on register. Enter the email ID and the password of your Sophos Central account so that the firewall gets registered in your central account. Once the registration is successful, by default, the security heartbeat and synchronized app control functionality will be enabled so that the Sophos endpoint managed devices can share their health information with the firewall and help in detecting and managing the applications in your network. To manage your Sophos firewall device via the Sophos Central Management's grouping functionality, enable the Sophos Central Services toggle switch. Once toggled, it will ask which services need to be enabled. We recommend enabling all the services so that you can get maximum benefit from central management of your firewall devices. To complete this part of the setup, click on the Apply button. Your web admin will now report this firewall status as waiting until a Sophos Central Administrator accepts the service. So in a new web browser tab, navigate to the Sophos Central console by visiting central.sophos.com. Enter the email ID and password of the account and click on sign in. Navigate to my products, firewall management, and then click on the firewalls option. Now here you can see the newly added Sophos firewall from the previous step with its serial number, firmware version, IP address, and model number. It'll appear in the ungrouped section with its status showing as approval pending. Click on it and then click on the accept services message to approve this request. Now, as mentioned earlier, all the Sophos firewall devices are placed in the ungrouped section by default. To use central management effectively, we can create various groups, we can configure any required policies, and finally move the firewall devices to the required groups so that the policies will be automatically inherited by the devices. To do this, click on the Create New Group button. Enter an appropriate group name, and now you can either use the default Sophos template or alternatively, import the initial configuration of the group from any existing firewall that is already registered in the central account. In this video, we'll just select the Sophos default option. So we're gonna select the newly deployed Sophos firewall and click on the add symbol so that the firewall device moves to the assigned devices section. Then click on the save button to complete the assignment to the group. After a few seconds, the firewall device will transition to the synchronizing status, which means that the security policies of the Sophos default template will be inherited automatically by the firewall device. Once this process is completed, the firewall status will change to synchronized. So here's an example of a central account showing the level of granularity possible using firewall grouping based on various cloud platforms like AWS and Azure, with each of them having subgroups based on the locations of the firewall devices. When we click on the three dot icon in that group, all the way over on the right hand side here, it'll show the option to manage policy. Clicking that option will open the management and security policies features of the group, which looks a lot like the local web interface used on individual Sophos firewall devices. For example, if we navigate to system, hosts and services, IP host, create an IP host object and click on save, it will show a message saying that the object is created and that it will be synchronized with the firewall devices that are part of this specific group. Clicking on the task queue option 
will show more details about the status of this activity, including whether the object was pushed successfully or was stuck in a pending transaction status due to issues such as intermittent connectivity. Now to verify the synchronization status, you can also log into the local web interface of the Sophos firewall device to check and confirm if the object was indeed inherited successfully from the group level configuration. Similarly, the administrator can configure the firewall rules, NAT policies, TLS inspection, IPS, web and application policies, and other security and management features on a group level. Another important feature of central management is the ability to upgrade the firmware version of some or all the firewall devices at the group level. It also provides you the option to perform the firmware upgrade activity immediately or schedule it to a particular date and time. If a new firewall device is registered and deployed at any location, you can go to the edit group section and get it added into that specific group easily. This saves a lot of time and makes the onboarding process of new firewall devices easy from an administrator's perspective. Another major advantage of central management for Sophos firewall deployments is that an administrator can use it for remote access to the appliance. Simply click on the name of the firewall in question and it will automatically log into the web console by a single sign-on. The biggest advantage of this functionality is that there's no need to enable HTTPS or SSH access over the WAN or open any ports or whitelist the public IP of the administrator to enable web console access. Now, some important caveats associated with the central management functionality. Since most cloud providers emphasize the importance of implementing high availability or fault tolerance in the customer's network environment, many administrators prefer to deploy pairs of at least two nodes of Sophos firewall devices in either active-active or active-passive configuration in their network to address this requirement. And unlike with hardware Sophos firewall units, which can be directly configured as HA pair through their physical connectivity, when it comes to deploying Sophos firewall instances in cloud platforms like AWS and Azure, both nodes will still function as independent firewalls. This means that they will not be displayed as an HA pair in central. Even more importantly, this means that for configuration synchronization to work between the Sophos firewall nodes in the HA setup, both firewall nodes need to be registered to the same Sophos central account and be part of the same group. This is the only way to ensure that both the nodes inherit the relevant management and security policies and take identical actions when processing traffic. Hope you found this video useful. Let us know any questions in the comments section and check out the documentation for this video in the video description. Thanks for watching and take care.